هذه لا الآتفة ويؤتف بها لإخراج الثاني مما دخل فيه أول The first noun brother and sister came in the sentence and also the second noun also came but the second noun <coughs> is not part of the verb are you with me only the first noun is the part of the verb for example safara <coughs> bilalun what is the meaning of safara bilalun bilal travel so the 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 noun <coughs> safara uh, the file is bilalun and it is about him you know la muhammadun so muhammad is out of that uh, muhammad is out of uh, muhammad is the second one so he is out of that what the first one is doing what the first one is doing the second one is out of it huh? inshallah you uh, sometimes you you can understand it just looking at the sentence inshallah but you will see here what will you see there is no harf atf there is no waw or fa there is no negation it is all affirmation or sometimes you will see fi'l amar okay got the idea here is one ishtaraitu dajaja mazbuhatan what is the meaning of that i purchased a chicken in what condition that chicken was slaughter ha huh? la hayatan not alive ha huh? la not alive okay fine yes isalil mudira lal mudarris isalil mudira as the headmaster la al mudarrisa not the teacher kulil tufah kulil tufah eat apples la al mauza not the bananas alhamdulillah we finished brother sisters maybe we'll finish other lesson too if you will revise at home you will see that it's not difficult huh? but we have to continue uh, our study pace the next lesson is even more interesting huh? we did that tamiz business in book 1 remember kam taliban fi faslikum ya shaykh huh? now we are doing it again we'll start with brothers and sisters we will start with we'll start with key most of the lesson is very easy extremely easy and extremely interesting except for a couple of things inshallah i'll try to explain you slowly slowly and inshallah you will understand it okay brother and sister mafulun mutlaq what is mafulun mutlaq it is a mustar al mafulu lahu what is it mustar now tamiz what is tamiz noun it's not mustar it is now that's the difference okay in this lesson we learn the following at tamiz now tamiz is actually a mustar itself from mayaza mayaza you mayizu tamiz ha mayaza will you remember shall i write it down okay i'll write it down brothers and sisters mayaza mastaris tam ye zon got the idea brothers and sisters what is the meaning of mayaza to specify okay to to elaborate yes sister oh you are right sister uh, mashallah jazakila sister you may use huh? you may use form because it's the four letter so it has to be dhamma jazakallah sister ma'am it is the noun used to specify huh? 
So mayyaza means to specify. It is noun used to specify and define an indeterminate idea contained in the previous words or in the whole sentence. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Sharib to litran haliban. If I say to you, Sharib to litran. If I say to you, Sharib to litran, what does it mean? Hmm? I drank a liter. Liter of what? So now you have to bring tamis huh? to uh, make it very clear. Huh? Okay, I drank a liter of milk. Huh? The word liter refers to an amount. But the meaning is not complete unless words like water, milk, oil, etc. Unless words like water, milk, oil, etc. are mentioned. Ibrahimu Ahsanu Minni. Translation, brother. Is better than me. In what way? Then you got to specify. Huh? Ibrahim is better than I with regard to handwriting. There are many things in which one may be better than the other. In this example, the word Khattan specifies the particular aspect. Tamiz is Mansu. There are two kinds of tamiz. Number one, brother and sister, tamizu zat. Okay. Now this is something you will, inshallah, slowly, slowly memorize it. Huh? Tamizu zat. This comes after words denoting quantity. When you talk about quantity, then the tamiz that you are using is called tamizu zat. There are four kinds of quantity. How many kinds, brothers and sisters? Four kinds of quantities. <clears throat> number one, al adadu, numbers. Of course, the number describe quantity. Huh? From the Quran, brothers and sisters, ya abati, huh? inni. Raitu ahada ashara kaukaban. If I say raitu ahada ashara, the idea is not clear. You got to have kaukaban, you bring a tamis to make it clear. Kaukaban, oh my father, I saw in a dream 11 stars. The tamis of number is mansu after 11 to 99. Now, here, brothers and sisters, all our Knowledge of numbers will become handy. Do you remember? Number 11 to 99. It is Tamiz. It's Mansu. Huh? And then from 3 to 10. The Tamiz becomes Bat Tamiz. <laughs> huh? It becomes Bat Tamiz. Why? Instead of uh, Mansu, it became Bajrur. Mudaf Mudaf ilayhi. But Mudaf ilayhi is Jama. Huh? And then, brothers and sisters, after hundred and thousand, again the Tamiz is Majroor, but it is singular. Huh? So in other words, now in our higher studies, we will understand that Tamiz can come in the form of being Majroor also. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. Al- Misahatu. What is the meaning of misahatu? Linear measurement. For example, you say a meter of something. In our olden days, we used to say a yard of something, a mile, a kilometer. What are these, brothers and sisters? These are all linear measurement. Ishtaraitu mitran. I bought a meter. Okay, very good. I'm not sure what did you buy. So then you have to bring the tamiz. Ishtaraitu mitran hadiran. I bought one meter of silk. Got the idea, brothers and sisters?